Hi there, this is Garrett again uh, at the library. I'm with Tech and Trek here, and I'm also sitting uh, with Christy. Hi guys, I'm Christy. My, I, well, my name's Christy. I'm the coordinator of academic development here at Hiram. Um, basically what my role is, is I work with students to help with anything academic success related. So you think um, note-taking skills, test-taking skills, time management, studying, anything along those lines. I also run our arch tutoring program here. Yeah, and so today we're, we've been talking about how to take better notes on the iPad. Um, and sort of different strategies that work really well for some students and how it interfaces with the iPad, so how the technology can support better note-taking. And we found that most students end up using this app, Notability, to be taking notes. And oftentimes, instructors will share their PDF or, or their PowerPoint slides into Notability, and students will um, come in here and they really like to, to take notes on top of the slide like this. Um, they'll write on top of it, and they'll even put text boxes in it to um, review later um, notes and whatnot. But there's some problems here, and it doesn't work well with a, a really popular style of note-taking. Mm -hmm. Yep, the Cornell, Cornell method of note-taking um, is one of my favorite methods of note-taking, and one that I find um, super, super effective. I call it the one-and-done deal of note-taking. And the reason is, is with the Cornell method, what it allows you to do is during class, you sit, take notes, and then immediately after class, it sets you up to write a summary of the notes, and then go back and add in keywords and actually practice questions. So therefore, when you go back to study after using this method, you already have your practice questions and your keywords and the notes that attach to them. So you're ready to start studying right away. So what do you need to do? How do you set up your, your, your one, like a, a one page, um, to do uh, Cornell style note taking. So when you use the Cornell method, essentially you set up your paper in three different quadrants. Um, first one is the biggest quadrant, and that's essentially where you're actually taking your notes during class. The second quadrant is where you go back after class and actually write in the keywords and the practice questions that correspond with the notes. And the third quadrant is at the bottom of the paper, and this is where you write your summary after class. Yeah, so this is a research-proven uh, method for increasing retention of information. Mm -hmm. It forces you to really uh, go back and review the notes, and it makes it really easy to study before a quiz or a test by just coming down to that summary section or looking over here at your key points or vocab or facts over here. Mm -hmm. um, and it also creates uh, an easy way to just take your, your uh, during-the-lesson notes right down in this space. But again, the problem with no notability and with the iPad is that when bringing in those PowerPoint slides, it doesn't give us space to do that. We don't have, it's not easy to, to come on here on, on, on text-rich uh, uh, slides to be able to, uh, to do what we want, need to do. But we have a solution. So we wanna kinda of show you how to, technically, mm -hmm. how to technically do Cornell. And the solution is actually not in Notability, but we're actually gonna be using another app that we've, um, that's available to you here at Hiram. And this is uh, called OneNote. And this is from Microsoft Office. So it's here, this purple icon on your home page, and you can actually, if you haven't installed it, you can find it in your um, self-service app. So open up your self-service app and you can download it and find it there. Let me show you how you could just very quickly set up um, Cornell style notes in, in OneNote. So here I'm in OneNote, and I have a blank new note started. Demo for Cornell. And what I wanna do now is click on PDF printout under the insert tab to bring in my um, PowerPoint or PDF slides. So here I find my uh, presentation from my course or from wherever. I click on insert. It's going to turn those slides into, into a PDF and it's going to insert um, a preview of those. So you can, you can see here it's, it's really expanded. Um, let me close this out if I can. That was kind of put it away. No. Nope. There we go. So if I if I just bring my finger on here, I can actually pinch with two fingers and zoom out. And it's gonna give me this sort of infinite canvas where I can scroll down through these, unlike a notability where you're locked into a certain point. So I'm gonna click over on draw, it's gonna bring up my pencils, and I can come over here on the side and I can put in my um, the different panels and windows we were discussing with Cornell. So I could come down here and, and, and do my notes by pinching and zooming and doing more details here. I can also put in text mode over here so I could just start typing. And over here I could add in drawings or other things. So OneNote really affords us uh, the ability to do Cornell and more rich based note taking when, when pulling in PDFs and, and PowerPoints and whatnot. 
Um, what else can we leave them with, Christy? Where can we find more information or get more help uh, when, when looking at improving note-taking? Um, so essentially, you can come visit my office. I'm over in Hinsdale 106. I do walk-ins anytime from 9 to 5. Or you can email me um, to schedule a formal appointment. My email address is kamisk at hiram.edu. Um, and again, I'm always available to help with anything academic success related. So test anxiety, time management, note-taking, studying, um, anything along those lines. Perfect. Okay, thank you for stopping in today. Absolutely.